professional. Here is Wendy Mesley. Points in between. Plus, we'll have the story. I actually think that it's safer. Driving and cell phones. New research shows the practice of going hands-free should take a hike. If you plan to do a little more driving, you might want to consider doing a little less talking on your cell phone. New research by Canadian scientists show cells are unsafe at any speed, even when, especially when, people are using those hands-free headsets that are supposed to make things safer. Here's Red Sharon. By his own admission, Michael Jolliffe was a road warrior armed with a cell phone. The 150 kilometers a day that I would drive, uh, it was a great time to talk on the phone. But these days, even though he has hands-free technology in his car, before he turns the key, he turns off the BlackBerry. He's never had an accident, but... I would leave my office in Oakville, go to my home in Richmond Hill and pull into the, the garage and realize I just had a 45-minute conversation and I didn't remember how I got home. Sound familiar? Well, researchers at Dalhousie University say Michael Jolliffe's experience is the very reason why any cell phone use in a vehicle should be banned, hands-free or not. The difference was significant. Yoko Ishigami and Raymond Klein reviewed over two dozen papers studying cell phone use while driving, including this one using a simulator at the University of Utah. What? Say what? The conclusion? When you're talking uh, on the hands-free phone, you tend, to, you tend not to slow down. More speed means more mistakes, more accidents. Yet people think it's okay because the three provinces that banned handheld phones in vehicles still allow hands-free use. Uh, when people drive with a hands-free phone, they tend not to compensate because they actually think that it's safer. Newfoundland has had its law six years. Minister Kevin O'Brien says they know hands-free is also dangerous. We discourage it uh, and strongly discourage it. But they didn't make it part of the law because prosecution would be difficult. Difficult or not, Klein says the research shows it should not be allowed. That we actually drive with our minds and if our minds are busy, then we might make mistakes in driving. Not Michael Jolliffe. The company he works for, Amec, didn't want to wait for the lawmakers to act. They banned employees from using all wireless devices while driving, a move he now realizes may even have saved his life. Red Sharon, CBC News, Winnipeg.